This video is sponsored by Wix. Are you an architecture student? Did you formally have no life in the middle of the semester? Well, perhaps now you have a bunch of free time, so now, yes you, now is a great time for you to kind of get your life together and start thinking about putting together an online portfolio using Wix. That's right, Wix. Get off the couch, stop eating your fridge out, and stop trying to make your magic career happen because honestly, it's not gonna happen, Nat. And if you don't trust voiceover, Nat, just listen to some other testimonials from Wix users. Now that the summer's here, I had nothing better to do than to build my website. After I built my website, I sent it to my grandma and she loved it. I am just so happy and grateful that I found Wix. It is your girl Nat here. This tutorial is going to be how to make an online portfolio with your own personal website. This website tutorial is really ideal for any architect or architecture student, but also I can see any artist or photographer or any creative out there really using this key information. So today's video, I am going to bring you along as I made and built my own website. I first want to talk about the importance of having your own website. Now, the reason why I have always advocated for online portfolios is that when you apply for a job, you aren't really going to be sending your future employer a actual physical portfolio. And also anytime your school, let's say you're, you're an architecture student and you get published on the school's website and they love your stuff, chances are they're actually going to Google your name. You'd be surprised how often it happens. So having your own website, first of all, identifies you as somebody who wants to be an architect if you aren't already. And two, already, I mean, it's never too early to start branding yourself because we are in a field that's very visual and it's hard to really throw up a resume on LinkedIn and call it a day. You can just use your full name as the website URL. You can buy a domain with Wix as well. I'll leave a link down below for you to sign up. Without further ado, we'll hop right into it and I'll explain everything as I'm working through it. Now, if you have never built a website before, don't freak out. The integrated software on the website builder is just absolutely insane. If you wanna do something graphic, you can do it. If you wanna animate text like fading in or like your images can scroll in a really nice and dynamic way to keep your website looking very like fresh and modern, you can do that. And it that is just mm, chef's kiss, right? <laughs> So after using my link below to go to Wix, you are going to start by signing up. You can use your Facebook or Gmail or just sign up using your other email. Next, you are going to see a little questionnaire that you can fill out. I'm just looking for a portfolio. So I found an architecture portfolio, selected that. Because I am a future architect, that is exactly what I was looking for, an online portfolio. There are a bunch of different options here that you can select and browse through. I'll have a second video up about how to make a blog in an e-commerce site, so keep on the lookout for that. This survey best tells Wix what themes to recommend to get your website started, which we'll go over next. So click on the right-hand side. Once you indicate that you are looking for an architecture or art portfolio, Wix will show you a bunch of options that you can select to first start off your website. You also have blank templates that you can select if you prefer to start from scratch too. That's also an option. But for this tutorial, what I did is I selected one of these templates and I edited the theme settings. Now to do that, there is going to be a toolbar but before we get into the nitty gritty of theme editing, I would like to go over all the functions in the toolbar and what you can do. So on the left hand side, you can see that I have seven bubbled out tools that I was constantly using. Starting from the top, you can see that this is my site manager. I will go over how to make a page later in depth. The second bubble is the photos. The third is all of these add-ons, these great add-ons like social media icons, different kind of gallery spaces and so on. Even your custom designs all perfectly put in one place. The fourth is your 
theme settings. The fifth is other widgets that you can add to your website through Wix. Next one is your media library and it also connects to Unsplash and stock photos. And the last one is about blogging. All right, now how do we go about editing the theme? So I'm going to start by editing my home page and really what I want to do is customize my theme so it suits my needs and also speaks for my style. So I first start by adding a strip. I'll go more into strips and their function later when we get into the nitty gritty of portfolio design, but I add a strip by using the add button on the left hand side. I add a image that I think is a good cover image. I de-sharpen the image a bit, make it a little bit more transparent and I'm actually kind of liking the look of it. On top of this, I am going to add some text, just my name and where I went to school really. So to do that, I'm going to press add text and I'm going to add a heading. Now I haven't edited the theme yet, but I'm going to show you how I do that. I don't really like it. It's too scripty for me. So to do an edit text, you go to your theme manager. I really liked this Lado light text. The great thing about using themes and headings is that anytime you make an adjustment in your theme manager, all of your text will adjust in response. Oh, so beautiful. All right, so I'm just going to copy text down and create my subheading and adjust the text, repeating the exact same steps that I did for my title heading, AKA my name. Always I'm using that Lado light font. I think it relates to my portfolio, but even if you really want to match your portfolio, you can upload the same font you use. And the same thing goes for colors. So. As you guys are aware, teal is my color for my portfolio. So I am adjusting my theme colors to just grays, whites, blacks, and teal as my accent color. All right, it is looking great, guys. So next we are going to work on the header. Now, if you don't have a logo like I do, no worries, just add your name. So here I am just adding my logo from Unraveling Architecture and pinning that to my header. Now we are going to work on your site strip at the top where it says menu, contact, portfolio, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna edit all of that so it matches our theme. Once again, just repeating all of the steps that we have been doing with the design. Now the design tool is gonna be in the middle option and you can customize this or select one of Wix's presets. Honestly, completely up to you. I customized it just to make sure it matches my theme and played around with the spacing options. So also, if you are an architecture student, another thing to do is have your inst your architecture Instagram stuff and you can create ongoing feed in Wix too. So I also recommend uh, syncing that up. So everything's just uniform. In the top menu bar, you can also link all of your social media accounts there. I also wanna touch on if you need to adjust anything, it's super easy to do so and changing images and playing around with your settings and position of your strip backgrounds. Website building is super iterative, so it is gonna take a a couple of passes to get everything to your liking. Next, I also want to touch on the footer. Now, just like the header, the footer is gonna be continuous on every site page that you make. So make sure you spend some time designing it and how you like it to look like. I have my social media bar similar to the one I have in my header. I decided to add a decorative line. You don't have to add this, but I kind of liked the aesthetic of it. So I stretched that across my page. Lastly, I had my site navigation bar to the left and I thought that worked for me, but of course there are a bunch of options and footer designs that you can play around with. For the rest of your homepage, honestly, completely up to you. I added a gallery with Wix, just using the plus gallery and edited the contents. But honestly, you might wanna come back and revisit your homepage. The next part of the tutorial is going to be how to actually add pages and make your online portfolio pages. Now, of course, on your homepage, you can also add a little blurb about you, totally optional. I mean, once again, you're an architect and you can determine how people view your website. So there's the site right now. I'm still working on it right now. So I really have been having a blast and I'm so nitpicky. I think we're all our own worst critic, right? 
In this part of the tutorial, I'll go through step-by-step -step how to actually create a page for your portfolio with Wix. To add a new page, just press that blue button. Wix has a bunch of presets. You can choose a gallery, but I prefer to customize everything. So that's why I opted to press add blank page. To reorder all of your pages that you created in Wix, all you have to do is click and drag the left-hand side and double-click to rename the page. Just so you know, this website builder uses something called strips and you can change the strip background and this is something I just did for my online portfolio. I really liked the look of it. I used the media editor, made it less sharp and added my heading, my title. I chose to include my critic's name for studio, also the year so people know when I did this project. I don't have as much documentation for it but that's okay. Adding text is super easy just using that plus icon and filling out a simple description just to introduce your project. As you can see, you can click and drag your strips around and those arrows extend the height of your strip. So here you can see I, I'm inserting my diagram from the media library and I do want to point out here I do have my snaps on. Now if you need to do that, just go over to tools and click on that box. We also have layers available in Wix and this is great if you want to quickly move your components and objects on the page around. So now I'm adding another strip. I'm very strip happy. I like keeping my strips in order. So I'm adding more text, more information. Here I am including a Wix gallery. I figured this would be a great way for me to show my floor floor plans. And if you need to add one, click on the plus icon and click add gallery. I decided not to stretch this gallery, which is a super quick fix for me to do. Wix has smart suggestions for you to play around with. So I ended up going with something like that, which I think looks actually really nice. Next, I am adding a section drawing, just very simple, you know, plus icon, add image, and adding a little caption for that beneath it. Lastly, I wanted to add my overall image. I attempted to do a strip background, but as you can see, it cropped it kind of funny just because the aspect ratio for this original render wasn't really lining up. So it looked kind of funky to me at least. So what I did instead is I inserted it as I have been inserting my images and adding a cool fade in animation, but I changed the duration so it takes a little bit longer. Also in Wix, you can link certain images to certain pages. So you just press that link icon, I press page and I link it back to the lab page. So if they're on my home page, they are able to easily access where my microcosmic laboratory documentation is on my website. Then I publish, I make sure the link works. I check all of the work that I just showed you, make sure there's no spelling errors and it looks good to go. And the way I maintain consistency with my online portfolio is that I will duplicate a page and edit the content so every Everything is uniform and beautiful. To duplicate a page on Wix, all you do is go to your site manager on the right hand side, click those options and select duplicate. What's gonna happen is this page is literally just gonna copy over as is, so all your text images will copy over to this duplicate page and just edit the contents for consistency. I was definitely aiming for my online portfolio to be interactive and in a way animated. So using those scroll animations that I've been talking about in this video really made my site more dynamic for viewers. If you were confused about how I animated it, they do have that little animation tab at the bottom and they have all of these options that you can click. I always opted to use the fade in for my images, but if you have that strip background image, you have the option to select all of these scrolling effects. So just click through and see your options. I really enjoyed using the reveal all scroll option and I thought it just looked 
really neat. And like I mentioned, it makes your site more dynamic and appealing for your viewers. The more you work on your website, the more polished and professional it can look. But as you can see in the screen recordings, moving things around was really quick for me to do and painless. I always preview just to make sure everything looks good to me and will adjust scroll settings or spacing issues if I see anything, but I'm really critical of my own work. So and that's the final result. It's so easy just to make one section your text and the later part just a gallery of images. I actually would encourage you to either just do a gallery of images or try and integrate it. I integrate it just because I think it flows nicer as a spread and as a website when you're scrolling up and down. I also wanna say that Wix also created this article about how to select work to include in your portfolio. So I'll leave that article link down below, but it's really a good read, super quick. Wix also has this great option for you guys where you can switch back and forth between desktop and mobile viewing. I use this all the time just because I think nowadays it's up to like 50% of users are using their phones instead of logging on a computer to view stuff. So definitely make sure you can adjust your website appropriately for your mobile user viewers. Super simple and I mean anyone can honestly figure it out. <laughs> and as you can tell from this screen recording, just like your website builder before site mobile you can optimize seeing how people scroll you can also edit things individually and it won't affect your overall main website these are tools that Wix uses just for your mobile users and how mobile users will eventually view your site on a mobile device and this is such a great tool for you to use and also be aware of at the end of the day you yourself have this great power along with these great tools that I showed you in this video for creating the website how you want it to look. I will also be adding two more key components to my personal website. So I'm gonna be adding a blog where I blog about architecture, this and that. And the second thing I'm gonna be adding is an e-commerce site. If you wanna check out my portfolio online, just go to natalieperry.com. It is up, it is live. Let me know if you yourself are looking to create a website please be sure to check out the link in the description box and in the comment section below. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. But if you have any Wix directed questions, they also have great customer service too. Thank you Wix for sponsoring this video. That is it for today's video. And I will see you guys next time. Love you guys.